Hey, and bash. It's the 19th of March, 2019. Uh, and yet another thing uh, that I was led to here that I must, must share with you. Uh, NASA, uh, what I refer to as the Devil's Facebook page. And I'm scrolling through here and I see the Devil's hard at work. Uh, they're flying helicopters on Mars, for one, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about OSIRIS, okay? This project called OSIRIS Rex, and they put an image of a pharaoh's bust, a whole head of a pharaoh, headdress and all. And I'll show you that better in a second. It's a region of Bennu, the northern hemisphere. Bennu is supposedly an asteroid somewhere out there with a camera floating around sending pictures back okay they're, they're very generous with our tax dollars but it's called osiris okay Bennu. if you don't know Bennu is the deity or entity or symbolized in the ancient world as the resurrection and it takes the form of a bird this is rebirth and resurrection the phoenix bird derived from the Bennu bird Okay, so it's essentially the phoenix bird, Bennu. And Osiris is the name of this project here. Okay, so we go to the page, and we could go through these articles, but it's just more craziness, and their numbers always jump out. There's that 311 again everywhere, and the thing happens to be the exact of 911 away from the asteroid's surface. And let's take a look at this image a little bit closer. Okay. And there he is. And that is quite literally the bust of a pharaoh. It's got the headdress and everything. The eye, the nose, the mouth, the chin. The whole thing is there. All right? Osiris on Bennu, the resurrection. That's what the wicked ones are up to. They're looking to resurrect Osiris. It's so in your face these days, it's ridiculous. But something came back to me from a couple years ago that relates to this that's just crazy. Okay? Keep this all in mind, the Osiris, the Banu bird in particular. About two years ago, I was shown an image on Google Earth. And Google, of course, you know, don't be evil, right? Uh, right outside of San Francisco. In fact, it's right outside of the Golden Gate Bridge. Right in this area, right here. I cannot run Google Earth on this computer. You'll have to go look for yourself. But if you were to look right here off of this place called Point Diablo, which means devil, you're going to find an image that is literally a deity, an Egyptian deity, and a Bennu bird. And it's as clear as clear can be. And when this was shown to me, I was just told in my spirit, take a screenshot of that. And I did. And I'm I'm even curious when I did that. This was back, check this out, April 23rd, 2017, 10.33 a.m. And there is the Pharaoh, if you will, and the Banu bird. And I hope you can see him. It's got an oversized head. They depict it that way often. The big eyes, there's the beak right there clear as day and it goes down his neck and there's his chest right down to his feet there's his tail feathers and all right back up his back over the wing up the neck and there's his head and there is the pharaoh figure or the high priest perhaps performing the resurrection ritual right outside of san francisco at point diablo the devil so you know, I see this stuff. I mean, it blows my mind just as much as anybody, but it's real. So why am I showing you? Because there's a lot of things going on in this West Coast. This area in particular is just waiting to anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? And that's just something I have to share when I see craziness like this. It needs to be shared. Because that's what you're looking at. You're literally looking at the resurrection ritual right outside of San Francisco at Devil's Point. <laughs> I hope some of you go look this up for yourselves because it's real 
And you can take it up with Google Earth. Don't be evil. You know what I mean? But this is telling something. And it's, you know, what was, what will be. These things are coming. You just got to understand that if you're in Christ, then you are secure. Okay? You're on that foundation. Then all these things, basically, they're foolishness, really, when you think about it. In the grand scheme of things, God looks at us as, as foolishness. But if you're not aware of your enemy, if you're not in Christ, this stuff will deceive you and devour you because things are coming. They're going to take away the what peace you have. So you need to be on that foundation beforehand. And that foundation is Jesus Christ. End of discussion. So I hope this makes sense. And I'm looking at this as somewhat of a warning. Okay? And I will link all this stuff. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 